once you get people to realize their moral responsibility to children, then the messages become, what should the role of the teacher be? What should the role of technology be? And what are the outcomes that we want? One of the biggest accomplishments is we all understand and embrace where we're going. Every message, every meeting I have, I'm talking curriculum and I'm talking technology because those are the two most important functions in the school system. We owe our students the best every single day, whether it's the first period on Monday or the last period on Friday. And that entails really examining what's going on in their lives so that we can make the educational experience as relevant to their lives as possible. The first day I came into the Jefferson Parish School District as superintendent, uh, knew exactly where she wanted the district to go. She was uh, knowledgeable about technology and she knew that technology integration as well as the work that the district had been working on with SLECTI and the Center for School Reform would allow us to get there. What I see is the tone being set by the superintendent and even by the school board uh, uh, as a governing body. Leadership with integrity, leadership that has the vision to help bring our students up to a level that is expected not only in the business community but in the community as a whole because that's what creates good citizens. It's very important to have folks that are asking the hard questions and that aren't satisfied with the status quo, visionary leaders that communicate their vision confidently and consistently each and every day, constantly saying, you know, we did that okay, but it could be better. Katrina came and I tell people we had to rise from the ashes. The images that you saw were real here. And we had an opportunity then to just decide to rebuild ourselves the way we were, or now to seize the opportunity to rethink it, what is it that we really want the school system to be and to look like. We're really addressing the students through the chosen mode of communication, through the technology that Cisco has afforded us. The Schlechte Center design qualities really dovetail perfectly with technological tools that Cisco has brought into our school system. It's just been phenomenal. The technology has been reaching the schools, the individual schools and the individual classrooms and the individual teachers. And as that has gone out, the excitement grows and the kids, they want it and they can do it and it makes them love learning. It draws them into places they could never ever go before and experiences they never could have. What we see is an acceleration that we could not achieve with standard teaching methods without the technology that we're employing. It has been the force that keeps children in from recess, they don't want to go keeps them in from lunch. It is remarkable if you've seen it. Not only does it your heart good, it does your soul good to see what can happen and that you are truly affecting change in their lives. The kids already have it. The kids already know it. It's the adults who need to catch up with the kids because the adults are catching up with the way the kids are entertaining themselves and the way they're communicating we brought everyone into the same circle of communication and mode of learning. And by adding this technology, it completes the link. It's just wonderful seeing uh, the transformation, not only for the students, but for the teachers, really getting them to embrace the technology and realize that it doesn't supplant them as a teacher. It just really enhances their lessons, enhances what they're doing, and brings the students into another level of, of engagement and application that really supports the students and helps them become the best students that they can be so that they can be productive citizens in our society. I've been teaching for a long time. I'm from the old school, but I find myself very excited about education. I find that excitement carrying over into the classroom to the students. And when I'm excited, they're excited. And it's building this community of learners that possibly would not have happened or evolved had we not had the technology. Many of our students have never touched a computer before they walk into our school. But that starts from our pre-K program at four years old. They're using computers in the classroom. They have a Promethean board. And it, it's so exciting for me when I visit the classrooms and see these little bitty children uh, just manipulating the tools on that Promethean board and they know exactly what to do. I like it because the Promethean boards are, they make learning more fun and it's easier to do work and things. We, uh, we get to show like all the PowerPoints that we do on them and instead of just having, it's group work and it's, it's not individual and everybody gets to work together and it's fun. 
when my daughter will come home and mention something interesting that they've done in class and, oh, come look at my blog or come, come look at this. It's really encouraging to see her excited about what she needs to do. It used to be that when school was over, the lights were turned off. But with these students, with our students, the lights are never turned off. They go home and their learning continues. Well, I see in the students, I see in the teachers, I see in the principals, the hope and the joy of what technology is bringing to the table for them, and I, I see it on a daily basis. We will have provided, uh, by the end of this year, multimedia access to over 3,000 classrooms. So uh, Jefferson Parish is well on its way to becoming a 21st century school district. You have to believe it can be done, convince others it can be done, and work shoulder to shoulder with them to get it done. That is leadership. Believe it, convince others, and work with them. It's a new way of teaching and learning, and we owe it to our kids to do it this way.